मसीयसु में आप सबको सलाम मैं समांता क्रिस्टोफर आपकी होस्टेस खुशी खबर में आपको खुश आमदीद कलाम हमें बताता है कि खुदा मोहब्बत है और आज हम बेजदिल क्रिस्टोफर के साथ मिलकर सीखेंगे कि खुदा हमसे क्यों मोहब्बत रखता है गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वी आर डिलाइटेड एंड वेलकम टू वेलकम यू हियर इन खुशी खबर एंड वी आर लुकिंग एट द लव ऑफ गॉड व्हिच इज अनकंडीशनल we have seen and we have also first of all i would like to thank you that you watched this program and all we're doing is just spreading an awareness in the community that we are here uh, we have a church here and we just want to pray for you be a blessing to you and tell you about the truth of god we are not here to contradict with any religion or debate with any religion or fight with any religion we don't do that neither did our savior and lord jesus christ tell us to do that he just showed us the love of god we are showing the love of god that's all nothing else and uh, you can also watch these programs on uh, youtube we do post them khushi khabar and then the date on there so if in case you miss it you watch it over there and 
whenever you want prayer or something, I think the number comes on, on your screen after the program and in the beginning. You can give us a call and we'll pray for you and we'll, we're here for the community to spread an awareness and to bless people. That's what God did. God blessed us with His grace and with His love and sent His Son, Jesus Christ. We're just here to bless you and to be, 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 be. We're not going to tell you something that's not true because it, our own conscience doesn't allow us to do so. And we, we are honored and privileged that we are here and spreading the word of God to you. Let's go back to our topic. We have had a series of two programs knowing what, why does God love us? We saw, we were going to sum it, sum it up today. We saw that who am I that God should love me? You are his creation. He created you. He has chosen you. He has, des- he has a destiny for you. He has a plan for you. He has a plan for you. God has a plan for you because he loves you. You may think my parents don't care about me and they don't have a plan for me. You may think that I don't have a plan for myself. Where do I go? But turn to God. He has a plan for you. He has a plan for you. At the sound of my voice, I just want to tell you this. God has a plan for your life. God has a beautiful plan for your life. And the best thing is, sometimes we make plans and we we go in them with some people who are supporting us. And The sad truth of life is that the people don't always be there. The people, they move somewhere else, they get some other work to do, they, they don't, they're not in the world anymore. And then the plan that we have so beautifully made for ourselves, which is probably not the plan of God for our life. And then we are alone in that plan, in that situation that we put ourselves in. But when we yield to the plan of God, the Bible says that God is with us. The Bible declares your mother and your father shall leave you. This is the love of God, so powerful, so amazing. Your mother and your father will leave you, but I will never leave you. It's the love of God. Can you see the love of God? Unconditional, everlasting love. You cannot run away from it. It's the reality of the world. God is so real, my friend. So real. That he sent his son Jesus to die on the cross of Calvary. The traditions of the Jewish culture. For a sinner. To be crucified on the cross. Some people also think, why did Jesus die on the cross? What happened? He couldn't just do something else? Let me tell you what we've learned. The people that God chose, the nation of Israel, God always follows what he does, what he says. The people that he chose at that time, this was the ritual. The sinner was the Roman Empire was ruling that time. The sinner is given lashes and they hit him and they badly bruise him. And then he is given the cross and he is hung there to die. The whole earth was shocked. You know, when Jesus was going to the cross, he, a remarkable thing happened. When he was in the court and he was being trialed, there was a murderer beside him. And, the, and Pilate, the judge at that time, he said, I don't find any blame in this man, Jesus, for me to give him punishment. But the people whom he healed and ministered to, the people whom he showed love to, the people whose dead he raised, they were standing in that court and they said, crucify him. Crucify him. And release Barabbas. Release that murderer, that rapist. 
and the Son of God just stood there, not saying anything, because you know what was on his mind? Love. Redemption of the mankind was on his mind. The love of God was on his mind. He did it for me and you. Did it for me and you. He stood there and people said, crucify him, crucify him, crucify him. His blood is on our, our generation. Sometimes else I will, I will teach you this. But for now we'll focus on our plan, on our plan of learning about why God loved. John 3.16 we read, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Everlasting life is eternity with God. God did not create mankind to die and go to hell. God created mankind to rule over this place and to one day reside with God in heavenly places. That's the plan of God, as simple as that. You are supposed to rule this earth. The verse John 3.16 reveals the heart and the purpose of God. God's love is wide enough to embrace all persons, all people. Doesn't matter you are from whatever religion. Doesn't matter what you believe. Doesn't matter if you don't even believe anything. You are listening to my voice right now. God loves you. And it's an unconditional love. You have not done anything to deserve it. And can you never do anything? You can never do anything to deserve it. He loves you just as you are. God gave his son as an offering for sin on the cross. The atonement proceeds from the loving heart of God. It was not something forced on him. Khuda ne apni mardi se aapka kafara diya hai. Khuda ne apni mardi se jahan se aisi mohabbat rakhi ki apna ek lota putra bakhsh diya. Jab hum ye baat dekhte hain ke whosoever believes in him इसका ग्रीक वर्ड जो बिलीव का लिखा है यहाँ पर ओरिजिनल में उसका नाम उसका मतलब उसके स्पेलिंग है पी एस पी आई एस टी ई यू ओ उसके तीन हिस्से हो सकते हैं इसकी एक कन्विक्शन है जो अंदर आती है बिलीविंग करते हुए कि यीशु मसीह खुदा का बेटा है और सिर्फ वो ही नजात दहिंदा है इस पूरी कायनात का दूसरी चीज के हम अपने आप को उस तक समर्पित कर दें अपना जीवन उसको दे दें और तीसरी चीज एक पूरा ईमान यीशु मसीह के अंदर कि उसने नजात का काम और खुदा का प्यार जिसने हमें नजात बख्शी है वो कंप्लीट किया है इस पर ईमान रखना है पेरिश जो है लव्स शेल नॉट पेरिश बट हैव लास्टिंग लाइफ हम हमेशा इस लव्स को छोड़ देते हैं जब प्यार की बात होती है तो खुदा के प्यार की पर मैं नहीं छोड़ूंगा क्योंकि ये आयत है खुदा का कलाम है मुबारक कलाम है ये इसमें जिंदगी है इसमें जिंदगी है दिस इज द Beautiful word of God, highly regarded over every other book of the world. Highly regarded. Perish, जो लव्स है उसका मतलब ये है कि जो perish जब इस लव्स इस्तेमाल होता है उसका ये मतलब है कि हम eternal death की तरफ ना जाएं. 
ہم ابدی زندگی کے پاس جائیں جو حضرت یسو مسیح دینے آیا اور ہم اٹرنل ڈیتھ تک نہ جائیں فزیکل ڈیتھ کی بات نہیں ہو رہی یہاں پر یہاں پر وہ ڈیتھ کی بات ہو رہی ہے جب انسان یہاں سے مر جائے گا زمین سے اس کا ٹائم ختم ہو جائے گا تو کہاں جائے گا ایولاسٹنگ لائف خدا کا یہ خوبصورت تحفہ ہے میرا دماغ اس تحفے سے ہٹتا نہیں ہے کہ ایولاسٹنگ لائف از دا بیوٹیفل گفٹ بیسٹورڈ آن اس فرام گاڈ وی ہیو ناٹ ڈن اینی تھنگ فار اٹ وی ہیو ناٹ ڈن اینی تھنگ فار اٹ ہی جسٹ لو دس جسٹ ایز وی آر آئی ہیو اسٹڈیڈ ریلیجن ان مائی دا لاسٹ ایئر اینڈ سو اینڈ پریویسلی religion always brings conditions on us you have to do this you have to go there you have to go this you have to go there this that but love does not bring condition on us god's love is unconditional a man's love is conditional if you do this for me and doesn't matter who you are i it's the truth of life If your wife or your husband is being good to you and is doing good to you, you love them. If they're not, majority, 95% people, they will find love in somewhere else. But can you imagine God loves the world so much? God loves so all of us. Even though we have been far from Him, even though we do not understand the love of God and we do not always focus on it, but the love of god is real everlasting life not only expresses perpetuality but also the quality of life a divine type of life a life that frees us from the power of sin and satan and removes us from what is merely earthly in order to know god religion will not make you know god religion only tells you If God has said this, 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 you have to do this. That's what religion does. And you know it's true. You've been believing it for years. God has said, do not this, 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 this. And that's what religion does to us. But the love of God, that he wants to have communion with mankind and, 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 and fellowship and friendship with mankind. a pure friendship a pure communion a pure love that has no conditions in it that the love of god god has not loved you because you're a good person god has loved you because he is good god has not god it doesn't happen like this that god doesn't love you because you're a bad person God loves you still because you're a good uh, because he's a good God. I want to just convince you here that God is love. And love is unconditional that God has loved you with. What can you do to find his love? How can you find his love? Read his word every day. From the beginning till the end. The perfect definition of love. People say the Bible has changed. That's the blasphemy against the word of God. Please, I urge you not to do this. That's the blasphemy against the word of God. I'm not going to do anything to you about it. But I pray God doesn't do anything to you about it either. The Bible is the same. God, because God is the same yesterday, today and forever. He is loved from the first page of Genesis 
the last page of revelation love in love we obey god in love we leave the things of the world and we go behind god in love that he has shown to us koi condition hi nahi hai uske pyar ki koi intiha nahi hai uske pyar ki ka pyar azim hai ka pyar कायम है वो डामा डोल नहीं होता प्यार किया है उसने उसके कलाम में लिखा है उसके कलमा ने कह दिया है कि फॉर गॉड सो लव द वर्ल्ड ही डज लव यू द बाइबल हैज नॉट चेंज बट आई श्योर डू नो द बाइबल चेंज इज पीपल चेंज माई लाइफ वन आई वॉज वेरी यंग made me understand that i have not done anything to deserve the love of god and that makes me bow down before him every morning thanking him for his love that he has showed me thanking him for the for the cross of calvary where his son jesus died uh, the biggest event in history you know i always tell my bible study group the biggest event in history is not a concert is not a festival is not a party that you can throw the biggest event in history is when jesus died on the cross of calvary and rose again from the third day that's the biggest event in history nothing like that has ever happened you can throw parties in love but you can never lay your life down in love and on the third day conquering death and sin restoring us back to the fellowship the that the biggest event in history concerts or birthday parties or festivals they're not the biggest event in history they don't have a record but the history record that the empty tomb in israel is still empty that the love of god that he has shown to me and you for god sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved we need to repent of our sins and hide under the love of god the love of god is unconditional it's not forcing itself on you it god is just telling you that i love you god is not forcing you to believe that he love that he loves you it's just how it is he loves you you cannot do anything for him to love you more or to love you less All I want to say to you in the end is, and we end, we wrap up this series of what did, why does God love us? Number one, God loves you because you are His creation. God loves you because He wants. God loves you, and He wants you to have dominion over everything that He has created on the earth. God does not want you to be. in slavery of a plant or of a small seed and let it ruin your life god doesn't want that god wants you to get rid of it because god is telling you today that i have created you to be over or superior than that plant you are to control that plant not that plant to control your life going to kill you eventually and you know what i'm talking about wrapping it up what have i done for him to love me nothing it's just a gift of god that he loves us can you see the supremacy of god the sovereignty of god 
that he loves us. His love is just a gift to us. His love is just a gift to us. He gives gift. Eternal life is his gift. Eternal death is not from God. He surely will put you to it if you don't obey or recognize his love. But eternal life is a gift of God. How do you know that God loves you? You know it because he is love. He gave his son Jesus Christ, came to the world, took all your sins upon him. According to the culture at that time, he went through that punishment of a sinner. He was not a sinner, but my sin and your sin was upon him. So as I end in prayer today, Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your word. Bless the people who have watched it. And I pray your love will transform their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. God bless you. Masiyasu mein aap ki shukur guzar hain. Aur agle hafte hum aap se phir mulaqat karenge. Tab tak ke liye, mein Samantha Christopher, Khudawand aap ko barkat dey.